What's up guys? All right, Dr. Chris Park here. Look, I got this new sign in from uh, from Russia. A little wood carved. Uh, super stoked about it. Uh, but anyway, all right. So I wanted to shoot a video for folks who are trying to taper off Suboxone. Um, or maybe you're just trying to get your mindset right. You're just trying to, to, to think through things. But look, the first thing you gotta know is you've got to trust yourself. Now, I understand that's kind of a weird thing to say. I mean, you're an addict or you're a former addict or however you want to label yourself. And if you say, look, I can't trust myself, well, then you're not ready to taper. That has been my experience. But if you can trust yourself, if you can find a way, and that doesn't mean you don't need someone to help keep you accountable or whatever, but there's a lot of people, man, you're beating yourself up because of the past and these bad decisions that you've made and you're living you're living those mistakes over and over again in your head. And it's like you can't escape that. But at some point you've got to. You've got to escape the past and you've got to move into the future. And you can't move into the future without embracing the present and you can't do that if you don't trust yourself. Another way of saying trust yourself is love yourself. You gotta love yourself. And it's crazy that we even have to say it I mean, we live in like the most narcissistic age ever, right? And, but yet for some reason people are forgetting they've got to love who they are, how God made you, okay? Yeah, you messed things up, that's okay. That's okay, because today is another day. And every day of your life is another chance you have to pull it together, to make some good decisions, to do some good in this world. And you've got to trust yourself to do good. Now, all that being said, guys, you don't have to taper Suboxone if you're not ready, if it's not the right time. I want you to stay clean. I want you to stay off heroin. I want you to stay off pills. I don't want you on meth. I don't want you shooting lines. I don't want any of that stuff, guys. I want you living clean, and I want you to be healthy, and I want you to be happy, and I want you to love yourself, and I want you to trust yourself. And when you've got all that stuff, you know, connected and tied in and you're living that life, then maybe you'll be ready. And maybe you won't, and that's okay. There's no judgment. There's no guilt associated with it. Quit laying the blame game on yourself. Quit living a life full of guilt and shame. Release yourself of that, okay? There was a time for that. It's, 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 it's gone. It's over. No more shame. No more guilt. Instead, it's a new path, a new a new way to live your life, to direct yourself, and to do the things you know you need to do, and to live the life you know you need to live. Helping other people, having healthy relationships, you know, being in love, giving love, receiving love, being generous, being curious, learning new things. That's the life that you're gonna live now. Whether you're on Suboxone or not on Suboxone, it doesn't matter, you can still live that life, and you can still be happy. And so we started off talking about tapering and maybe you're ready to taper and maybe you're not, but you got to trust yourself and you got to love yourself and you've got to let go of the past. Embrace the now. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Peace.